This was fate. This is what was meant to be. You're bringing me down. You're bringing me down. Don't insult me like that. We're getting married. That's scary. Do I want to marry him? It's happening, YouTube. I am back. I'm rolling with Miss Jack A. Nicole, my co host. Because y'all enjoyed her so much on the movie review, I brought her back. Comment below if you want to see her be a mainstream person on this channel. What we're talking about today, what has been hot in TV and hot on social media, is this show called Love is Blind. Oh. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit me on Instagram if you want to ask me questions or you want to be a co-host on this channel too. What do you know about Love is Blind? It has lit up my timeline mm -hmm. for the last week, maybe a week and a half, maybe even full two weeks. I've never seen it. I will not see it. Okay. I will not um, give it my viewing streams. I will not put that on my TV. Okay. And we are using Love is Blind to segment our way into what is going on with the breakdown for African-American educated sisters finding good men? Mm -hmm. And Love is Blind is basically a reality TV series produced by Kinetic Content, which premiered on Netflix on February 13, 2020. And it's a three-week event where basically they get all these people, they put them together, and they kind of don't really know each other. They get together, and they did have a black couple up there, which was a source of a lot of contention, which brought me to one to ask an educated black sister who's single, what have been the barriers for you finding a good man? Now, ladies and gentlemen, she is my training client. So I know she's committed. I know she's educated. And she's somewhere above the age of 35. Would you like... <sighs> so what has been the barriers for you finding a good man? Because everybody knows my Uncle Mont is the love doctor. <laughs> um, ooh, wow. You, mm, you feel yourself, aren't you? Um, Comment below. I would say that my, in my experiences, and I can only speak for me in my experiences, mm -hmm. I have only dated black men. Mm -hmm. I've never dated any other race. Mm -hmm. um, not that I've not ever been curious, but I've never been approached to go out with. Other races don't approach me and say, I'd like to get to know you. So I've only ever dated black men. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, it's my experience that sometimes some, and I'll quantify this by saying some, some men will say, oh, you're great, you are you check all of my boxes, or at least 90% of my boxes, but there has to be somebody better. So then they leave you, or they put you on ice, or put you on the shelf, while they go out and look for this this other unicorn that they are convinced if there's one there has to be two and the second one is going to check all of my boxes she's only checking 90 percent, but i'm gonna find that 100 percent. so that's what i think happens mm -hmm. and thus it leaves me and women like me some of my friends to be still singing single and dating <laughs> Fellas, you know I got y'all. <laughs> you, you know right now for me it's cuts for the slut season. I'm working on getting them cuts, changing my diet and all that. So let me let me let me couch this wow. in a very professional manner here. So fellas, these are the issues we're suffering. Right now in the United States, African American women lead the nation in higher education, meaning that they are getting their education. Guess who's on the bottom of that list in America? African-American men, for whatever the reason, we're not going out there getting a higher education. But that's not to say that you can't be successful without having a master's degree, a business degree, an MBA, being a doctor. That's not to say you can't be successful, but that is to say, do you not feel like some of these educated single women that are of experienced age have too lofty of expectations for someone who could be a good brother doing it but he might not have a six-figure bank account. Maybe he doesn't have a master's degree. Maybe he's just a regular teacher, but he's a good dude. 
What I do know is. Wait, 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 wait. Can I have the floor? Sure, finish. I can see where this is going. I'm reclaiming my. I'm reclaiming my time. It could simply be that the good brother might not be at six figures yet, but everything else goes well. No one on the planet Earth is perfect. No woman, no man. But what each and every one of you have to do is figure out what it is that you need versus what you want. Your needs need to outweigh your wants. And then you merge and you work with someone as best as possible. Floor is yours. Um, I never said I'm looking for Mr. Six Figure. Okay. I've never said I'm looking for Mr. PhD, Mr. JD, Mr. MBA, Mr. BA even. Oh. But can we get past high school? I was on a conversation a week ago with someone that I thought, okay, there may be potential. He did not have a degree. I knew that he was not in a six-figure range, but I was willing to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. When we were talking about education, somewhere along the line, we ended up with him saying he had not made it out of the, he had only gotten as far as 11th grade. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, my, my interest is now gone. I have no more interest. Um, can we get a high school? Can can we get a high school diploma? Mm -hmm. So college is not for everyone as there are things that I do in my personal life that I work with students and, and help them to assess that goal. High school students assess, do I want to go to college? Is college for me? Mm -hmm. College is not for everyone, mm -hmm. but can you get out of high school? Can you get out of high school? So, my grandma said there's always two sides to every story. So, obviously, in order to somehow or another attract your allure, the brother had to have something going on. He ain't working at McDonald's. I assume the brother had some kind of decent, high-paying job. Is that safe to say? It, I, it, he came highly recommended. That was the only reason why I do entertained you, the conversation. Okay, do you understand what kind of job he had with income? I understand that. Okay, so he had... But I wasn't impressed by that. Okay, so usually the, the ugly elephant in the room that no one wants to address when it comes to education. Education equals finances. Yes. So let's just say if someone was able to bypass whatever level of education a lot of people feel like you must have, and they're making $70,000 in the state of North Carolina, that's a good living for one person. That's decent. Yeah, that's a great living that's for decent. one person. So, if we... That's decent. That's not a great living. That's well, decent. Because you have to factor in, does this person have children? Are they okay. taking care of the children in the right. home? Right. You know, are they taking care of other family members? So, $70,000 on the surface in North Carolina, if you're a single person, man or, or woman, sounds great until you factor in some other stuff. So, no, 70000 is not a lot. All those things you just said factor in comes to... Does he have discipline to know that the number one way to get rich is live well below your means, save and invest, and not blow all your 70 grand? Okay, so then that's a whole nother conversation that you have right. to have with your so, audience. So if that person understands that concept and is making 70 grand, he should be right up a lady's alley who fits the profile that you are, I've described it of you and some black women. But can we get out of high school? Can... I know three people that are multi-millionaires that didn't finish high school. And they have no good enough diploma either? No, nope, but they've got patents, they've got okay. trademarks, and they, they run and, and here's Okay, and here's the thing. Can that person ha carry on a conversation? The circles that I operate in outside of my work life and, mm -hmm. and sometimes in my work life, I need a man that's going to be by my side that if he's only made it to the 11th grade... I can leave him and go across the room and not have to worry about the things that are coming out of his mouth. And uh, that's not been my, again, this is my, that's not been my experience that he can carry on a versatile conversation in um, different setting circles uh, with mixed company and, and carry himself all. So, so I guess having, when you say that, being able to carry a conversation if someone's left alone into a circle of people doesn't necessarily have to relate to their education. So let's just say we go do the polar opposite. 
let's just say you go and leave homeboy with the NBA into a circle and he's owning the room. He might wind up owning that room and walking out with the cuts for the sluts. And thus, you get to a hmm, mm -hmm. a project. Mm -hmm. You fix him up. Mm -hmm. You tell him he looks nice. Mm -hmm. He treats you well. He smells good. You know, you help him out a little bit. Polish that stone off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now he's feeling himself. Okay. So now you're back to being single because why? Other women are not paying him attention. And he's not, hmm, he's not hmm, at the point where he wants to say, you know what? I have a fantastic thing here with this person. I'm gonna stick here and and block all this other stuff. Like, like the Heisman Trophy man. No, he has to entertain all of that. So then, thus, we, I'm back to be. So, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Ladies, because over the last year on this channel, when I bring in my wife, what may have you, y'all have grown, y'all have been powering my channel. I want to start doing more in terms of things that, in, in terms of content that women want to hear. So y'all be seeing Miss Nicole often when we're going to talk about pop culture relationships things of that nature i want y'all to comment below if you want to see her again because we're going to continue this conversation just not do it all in one day um before we get you out of here let the let people understand where you're coming from and where you feel like most women of your elk are coming from in terms of what it is they feel like they need from a partner versus the one and which two it, which of the two is more important and then we'll get out of here on that. And ladies, comment below. This is some good stuff. Okay, I, I can't speak for anybody other than me. Right. I, I don't profess to be the voice of the black woman. Okay. That's where people get into trouble. Um, I'm but, only but speaking, I'm way, only speaking I, I, I gotta for stop me. you there. There are characteristics that a lot that you can assert. There are stereotypes you can associate with most people in any given circuit. So black women, black men, there are some there are some stereotypes you can associate. So you being a very educated person, experienced person, and I mean age-wise, not saying you're experienced, just just an age. I'm not okay. telling the age. Um, a lot of women can relate to your plight, and you don't have kids, right? No. You don't have kids either. So this is a diamond in the rough. All this diamond right here needs is a little pressure to be the biggest diamond you could possibly see. Crush it. So let us know. What I am looking for mm -hmm. is a companion to grow with, to learn from, and to, you know, go on this journey of life together. Okay. You know, I'm not concerned with a whole, I'm not concerned a whole lot with the outside packaging. You mean the way they look? You know, I mean, okay. you, you want someone okay. that you feel is attractive. Right. I will take a less attractive person that can have a conversation with me into the wee hours of the morning about any topic over a package. And I feel, and I feel like that is a sentiment of people who are more experience who are older can do that mature mature really. mature i feel like that that is something that a, a lot of people in that category and being mature doesn't mean age later you can be a mature 26 year old because of the experiences you've gone through in life but i feel like that's what people who are mature genuinely feel that way um versus younger people who feel like they need to be excited by um um Aesthetic thing. Yeah, because it, it doesn't matter to me what, what my girlfriends think about the person that I'm with in terms of looks. Mm -hmm. As long as he makes me happy and we can converse and we can have fun and I can be myself. I'm not going to show up every day with the done up, as I call it. There are some days I'm going to show up and I just have a fresh face mm -hmm. and a bare lip and stretchy pants and a top and okay let's go hang out you know right and then there are times when okay we're going on a date and i'm going to put effort into mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. so if you're more impressed with me in the done up then you're not going it's not going to work because 
the done up is not me every day. Right. That right. that say, you know, I wouldn't even say a special occasion. There are some days where I wake up and I feel like I'm going to pull up all the stops to go to work. Mm-hmm. You know, and I sit in the office and there is nobody at work I'm remotely attracted to. Right. So, but yeah, there there's some things as you mature that you realize are less important and some things that are more important. A conversation is more important to me. I'm not a texter. I will text, but if you're going to talk to me every day through long hours of text, I've dismissed you mentally. I I, I have no no okay. joy in that. Mm-hmm. Call me on the phone. Place a phone call. I understand you're at work. I understand you work. I work. I understand you have a long day. I have a long day. But if I'm worth the effort, give me a 30-minute call. Not every day. Some days, you know. Mm-hmm. But let me let me know that you're interested. Interested men act interested. You mm-hmm. can act interested Damn. if you're texting me on my phone because I'm going to hide the alerts so I don't know that you're texting until whenever I happen to pick up my phone again. So call me. A call will always come through. <laughs> well, slap me silly and call me Sally. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just got me an education in old school. That's what I just got on this channel. Um, she's got some hot takes on this new era of non chivalry slash me too and we'll do those on another video so that you guys can hear that i have nothing wrong to say about what she said gentlemen because i think what she said was realistic you can come step to her correct you don't have to be a ferrari pretending to be a hyundai um you can come with truth honesty and be able to call it's basically what she said and, and know how to hold yourself in a conversation somewhere when she's not around, so she's not embarrassing the union, and that's all she's asking for. And I think that is what a lot of experienced, mature women are asking for, but I wanna hear from you guys. Comment below if you want her to come back. Comment below on what y'all want us to cover on the next segment. Any closing remarks, Nicole, for the people? Interested men act interested. If you're interested in someone, Man or woman, act like that. You know, people don't want to call. Oh, I'm gonna seem thirsty. I'm gonna. If you're interested in me or I'm interested in you, I'm going to place a phone call. I'm going to ask you out. I want to see you outside of talking to you on this mobile device. That's as old school as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking a duck on a June bug. Don't get no better than that. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. I'm the Lug Doc, the Uncle Mont. <laughs> Let me know what you think. And until that next Sexy as Hell video, follow me on the gram. I'll see you. <laughs>